Hey guys, Zuljin here. Welcome to episode one. Today we're looking at a game called God of Word, which is a typing game uh, where you fight enemies uh, in kind of a Greek mythology setting. So the game is explained as um, you're the apprentice of Hermes. Uh, and there's a theater pro of production for the gods of Mount Olympus that you're working in and you use your impressive vocabulary to wow them as you reenact the most famous tales of Greek mythology. So the game has level ups and armor, power ups and things like that. You can unlock different armor and weapons, unique traits. There's actually a multiplayer version of this and what's really unique about uh, this this game too is that it supports multiple languages, which are pretty cool. Um, I'm, it's it's going to be available on Steam for Mac and PC, and I just want to give you like the first 10, 15 minutes of gameplay just to kind of show you some of the modes uh, that the trailer uh, doesn't really go into. So I did a game called Epistory a while back, and um, the folks over at Megadwar Fortress saw that and they sent me this game to check out and to show y'all. So. Uh, we're going to go through the live act, which is like the campaign mode. And I've already done it, a few of these just to, to kind of see how it goes. You can scroll out. As you can see, there are a ton of levels uh, where my mouth, mouse is passing here. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of unlockables and things of that nature too. Um, but let's go ahead and go to Act 1 over here. And I'm going to play. Now, the easiest way for me to explain this is just kind of get into it. So don't expect me to be real good at this. First of all, I'm not that great at typing in the first place. But that's the cool thing about games that don't suck that help you type. Is that you kind of learn how to type. Um, and this one doesn't suck compared to a lot of word games that I've played. Um, but it is very hard to do commentary while typing and playing, especially for me. So anyway, as you see in the middle here, there's a life total of the monster that's coming across. And you have to type words in order to do damage to it. So um, I'm going to do... Um, oh, let me press space here. Let's see. Male. Uh, or lame. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty good. Male. Um, nail. Nail. I don't think that's actually a word, no. Lean, I can't do that. Uh, mean, no. Mean, <laughs> and kneel, uh, N-E-A-L, is that actually, no. Um, malt, L, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> I didn't do too hot at that. It's really, really hard to concentrate when I'm trying to do commentary. Let's try that again. That was an embarrassment. Okay. But you can see, you can kind of shuffle around words, and you press enter after you finish typing. So, um, let's see here. Fade. And you could do bigger words, too. Um, let's see. Um... P-I-E. <laughs> we'll just change it again. Okay. W-A-S-H. That's a little bit easier. You can shuffle around words, too. And W-I-S-H. So I have 48 out of 60. Now I have 64 out of 60. And it's actually going to defeat. So you do have some power-ups here that you can use for extra time and extra health. Um, and basically, you'll go through. And when you defeat the monster, it'll take you to the next battle. Which is pretty cool. Okay, let's actually try to do good right here. Um, tail. Tails. That's a big one. And it gave us plus 10 damage because we had two red tiles. Stay. Salt. <laughs> Everybody loves that word nowadays, huh? We have to do 90 points of damage. Late. There we go. Um, and how about... Is Yale an actual word? I know it's the name of a college. Uh, how about yet? Yet is one. And let's... And, um, let's see, can we get a big one? S-A-T-T-E-L? <laughs> Almost Seattle, but it's not, it's not the correct pronunciation. Um, I don't know, Taze. <laughs> That's not a real word either. But it kind of tells you uh, the words that you've already done. And uh, I think we only have one battle here left. One more skeleton to go. Let's go Leap. Uh, leaps, that's easy. Pale, um, s sail, I guess. Yeah, uh, lease, we can do, no. Le I already did that though, right? Yeah, peel, 
And uh, how about let's shuffle them around a little bit. Spa, we could do that. Um, wrap, just like that. Wraps and laps. Rest. I don't know if rest is a real, <laughs> real word. Um, we could do less, and we can do. Uh, how about rape? That's a word as well. Um, reps. That's another word. Man, we did 186 damage out of 60. We could probably do m more too. Yeah, that was that was all I had. <laughs> so. So you go through the map like this, one battle at a time, and you get all of your stats that goes. Strongest word is Tails for 27 damage. Um, Alright, so let's go back to the map here, and I'm actually going to go to main menu and show you guys the other modes. Uh, there's also multiplayer, so you can face off against other uh, people, uh, as well as you can go to different modes. So this is the combat marathon, fight endless enemies in word mode. So basically this is exactly the same thing except it's endless. Uh, so you can go as long as you want just doing damage after damage after damage to each of these things. Uh, but the other different game mode is this, Typing Marathon, and it's a little bit different than what we've looked at. Uh, so you press any key to start and they'll have enemies that come out, and this is almost like tower defense mode, so chats. And you'll stick the birds as they go. And it's kind of random the way it does. Plus you'll get an accuracy score at the end, and be shame. Be shaming your typing skill, um, and if you type, if you mistype words or whatever, it'll um, it can really mess with your uh, with your accuracy score. And as you can see, it starts going a little bit faster, and I messed up twice there. Red draft. I'm not the best typer in the world, as it is. I mean, I do all right, I suppose, uh, but I'm not nearly um, I'm not nearly great at this. Hunk. Oh my god, I just mistyped like inning, mazily. Some words are a lot easier than others too, just by, um, oh, cat bird. No! Okay, so basically when the crow gets to you, it ends and it shows uh, how many uh, enemies that you had, how many enemies that you could have killed, the typing accuracy, and you can retry there. And if you go to retry, uh, actually let's go to main menu, play typing marathon uh, you'll see that there's a different there's it gives you like different boards to go through so it keeps it pretty interesting as you go all right trolls trolls okay <laughs> I escaped it lackiest oh oh my god I want to see what happens when we spear oh in our chest <laughs> all right so that's I guess that's our highest score is 19 Pretty cool. Okay, let's try one more just to show you that there is. Uh, I, I saw another. Um, I saw another actual level too. Oh, here's one that I haven't seen yet. So I don't know how many levels there are, but I'm sure it goes on for quite a little while with the different stuff that you can do. T H R U W A Y, dunks, cans. Oh, I D S actually. Zenith, which is a game I recently played. <laughs> It's kind of nice. Oh, what is that? Ixara? Slaw, as in coleslaw. Nasty cabbage stuff. Lang. Pompin. Oh my god. Keek? What's a keek? Nobody knows what a keek is. I have no idea. Ladkin. Ladykin. Oh no, I'm <laughs> Slayed on the battlefield. Typing accuracy 89%. Uh, percent. All right. So my talking accuracy is getting bad too. So if you go to options here, you can actually change how difficult the game is. Um, you have some resolution and quality options naturally. Uh, you can change the dictionary language and your interface language in here. So if you want the interface language, but you kind of want to learn about some different words and stuff from different languages, you can change that as well, which is a good little option. You have your combat difficulty, which I think defines how much hit points things have to kind of I guess kind of up the the difficulty of the game, but you also have typing difficulty. So 
I think this in, you can change the difficulty at any time in the, the main menu options, by the way. So let's just say you're not that great at typing and you really want to progress into the game. You can keep it as easy. And as you get better at typing the words, uh, you can move this difficulty meter all the way up to hard plus if you wanted to. Um, just to get harder and harder and harder words, I'm sure and really manipulate the difficulty settings to, to where it'd be fun. And like I said, there's not many word games out there, typing games that are made for learning that are interesting. Typically, typing exercises or learning games in general are either very, very um, geared for very, very young audiences or they just in general, they suck. And I thought this was a pretty good one. So not typical of what I'd cover on the channel, but I thought you guys would take a look at it. And um, and if you guys appreciate this type of stuff, then, then you can check it out. There's a link. There, there will be a link below um, to the Steam page for it. Like I said, it's not a sponsored video or anything, but the uh, the folks at Mega Dwarf were nice enough to send me a key to uh, to check out the game and show it to you today. And uh, if you're interested in it, there'll be a Steam link below. You can check it out. It's going to be available for Mac and PC on September 28th. And, uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zul'jin signing off, and we'll see you next time.